In the New Year's event, namely the Yuletide Express, you have two choices. A snow globe, which will take you a lot of battles, or this tank, the T26E3 Eagle. Now, effectively it's a free tank, but is it really worth you getting this in your garage? Well, let's have a closer look. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at this tank, the T26 E3 Eagle. Now it's an interesting tank and it's a premium tank and it sits in tier 7. It's a medium and it's an American tank. Now straight off the bat I'll tell you I'm not a big fan of this tank. Why? Well I mean the rate of fire is pretty low, the damage is average, penetration it says there is above average but we'll get more to that. Armour, well, on the turret it's okay, but only frontally, aside from that, it's not that great. You can see here the average damage is about 160 I and alpha. Sorry, the average pen is 160 and the average damage is about 220. How do you get it? Well, you get it in the Yuletide Express. You can either get it before you get the snow globe or you can get the snow globe. Now, is it therefore worth your while? Well, let me put it into tank compare. And here I've stacked it up against other tier 7 premiums, the Drac, the T23 E3, the T3485 and the M10. Now as you can see, it's got the worst DPM, but it does have realistically the best penetration and the best damage. It hasn't got the best rate of fire, it hasn't got the best reload, uh, it hasn't got the best shell velocity. Its aim time is pretty average, its speed is pretty poor for a medium, but you can see here the win rate isn't that bad and the credit coefficient is 150% like all the others. But the downside for this tank, despite the fact it's got a massive and a whopping 10 degrees of ton, uh, gun depression, which is fantastic by the way, and it's got 20 degrees elevation, which again is fantastic, is the penetration. And I'll show you why in a moment. Armour wise, I mean there you go, look, 20 degrees up, 10 degrees down. Armour-wise, well, it's your typical medium. It's got nothing. It, 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 I mean, it's got a big mantle it and it's got some armour on the turret, but it really has got no armour. And when I look at it facing off against a Tiger 131 in this case, which is a tier 6 heavy, then you can see the Tiger is going to struggle a little bit if you go all down, although its cheeks are still wide open to this tier 6 heavy. If I put it against a Tiger 1, however, and as you can see there, it's going to pen the tier 6 quite easily. Now, if I put it against the Tiger 1, which is a tier 7 heavy, then everything changes. It's going to struggle to pen it. And therein lies the problem. Now, if you're like me, and majority of your games in this tank are up-tiered, whereby you're facing tier 8s, then you are really going to find this tank heavy work and hard going. You've got to play it sensibly. You've got to stay all down and you've really got to be second line support. You stick this thing on a front line in a tier eight game and you're not gonna last very long because absolutely every man and his dog can pen you and you are gonna struggle to pen every man and his dog. And you'll see here, I'm gonna to have to switch it to the premium ammunition, which is AP, just to get penetrating shots I've got to stay hauled down. Thankfully, they're not focused on me, but it's a real struggle to play this tank when you're up tiered. When you're bottom, when you're top tier against tier sixes, it's a dream. When you're playing against your own tier, tier seven, it's not bad. But tier eight, it really, really struggles. And as you can see here, I'm really struggling to pen anything unless I've got the premium ammunition loaded. However, this tank is effectively a freebie. All you've got to do is play the game. And if you're not getting enough points to get to the snow globe, then why wouldn't you get this? Because you can, if you've already got it or you haven't got it, you can sell it and get credits back. It is a good credit maker and the chances are you're not always going to be up tiered. And again, here we are in another game, again being up tiered from tier seven to tier eight. We're the bottom tier tank. I'm giving the tier sevens a hard time because I can, because the penetration is fine when you're facing off tier sevens, 
unless of course that tier 7 happens to be an Annihilator or a Smasher, then this tank will struggle. But, as I said, it's not meant to be played front line. You're meant to play this second line support. And it hasn't got great mobility or speed for a medium. I mean, it's, the, it's pretty slow, it's pretty cumbersome. But if you are sensible and you play the tank cautiously, then you can have some good games in it. Nonetheless, I will guarantee you that majority of your games will be frustrating more than fun. Um, and that's the problem, because you will bounce a lot, especially when you're up-tiered. And you will then get annoyed, and you will then realise why it's got good credit chrome efficiency, because you've got to buy premium ammunition and use it. And that sort of defeats the object of a premium tank. I mean, the object of a premium tank is you go out and you can get some decent credits. It's not to spend all your credits on ammunition, and therein lies the problem. Okay, if you go, if you manage to get this thing into a position where you can go side on against these cumbersome heavies in the top tier of eight, then yeah, okay, it's okay, it's doable. You can manage it. You can get away with it. But I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to take out this um, Lou, this this Lola, Lion, or wherever you pronounce it in German. I'm going to take him out. He's going to smack me though, um, and my hit points are going to go down pretty sharpish. And then I'm going to try and take on. So there we go, we, we take him out. Now, there's a Churchill Black Prince. Now the Churchill Black Prince is a good tank and it's got pretty decent armor. I've got AP loaded, as in the premium ammunition. There's a Ricochet, it thankfully he bounces me. Now I'm gonna get into a good position here. So I've just got my mantlet showing. He bounces me again, but I bounce him. It's just, I just cannot pen him. I just cannot do it. Look. There's, there's no way I can penetrate him front on. Thankfully, the blaze comes around and takes him out. I'm not a great fan of this tank, as I said. Mainly because I do get up-tiered in a vast majority of my games, and it then becomes a really, really difficult tank to play. It's just that frustrating. Now, if I was in tier six, tier seven games, then it, it wouldn't be so bad, you know, it can hold its own. But in tier eight, you really gotta play the socks off in this thing. And this is a tier eight game, you can see on the bottom tier. And I'm trying to hold this middle ground. Um, I'm getting good shots into the Pantera over there, mainly because he's, he's sat up side on and allowing me to hit him, which is always very nice. I'm not gonna pen the Indian Panzer. The Indian Panzer is gonna pen me though despite the fact that most of my armor is on the mantle it. Um, this poor WZ has just made a massive mistake. He sh he's been, well, he's been tracked. He's showing his bottom plate. We're just gonna, it, it's just basically a farm. I can just feed off him, which is nice. Now I know that we've got some tanks, if you see they're, they're to the right hand side. So I can probably push the Indian Panzer. I think we can get away with that. And if I can get him side on, I can pen him. There we go. Now I can chase him down, he's a one shot, he's trying to run away. Chances are he's gonna present his engine deck, which he does, so I can take him out. Now I can see the SU-101M. Maybe I can get a frontal shot into him because I know he's on his side and maybe, and I think I do pen him, I'm not sure. Now those two tanks are basically rear to me, so I can probably pen them because they've got weak armor at the back. And this is what you need to do with this tank. You've got to get it in a position whereby you can hit those weak spots on the enemy tanks. That one bounced, or it went, no, I don't know where it went. And that's the problem with this tank. But, but, it's a freebie. All you've got to do is play the game and you get this tank. And you should never, never knock a gift horse in the mouse, is my opinion. So, you can play this tank well, but it's not OP, it's not broken. It does struggle, it is frustrating, but it's free. So why are you turning your noses up at it? Anyway, I've been fooded. That has been the T26E3 Eagle, a tank you can get your paws on right now just for playing the game. Unless you want the snow globe, then you know, you've know got to sort of play really hard and get both. By all means, comment and everything below. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. As always, big shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons, who without you these videos would be really difficult to make, and my subscribers, who without you they'd be meaningless. 
And until the next time, hopefully you have a happy new year. Stay safe, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.